It is a way of life. It is a religion. For most part, it is as many people's religion, the surfing. Because they are coming to the beach every day. They are knowing they are feeling better when they go away. It is a form of meditation. It is a, there, is a, there is a certain so, uh, solidarity about sitting, waiting for the sets, floating on the board, keeping your balance. Maybe the dolphins have come through. The birds are flying overhead. The sea eagles up the top grabbing fish out of the water. It's just such a beautiful environment that why would you not want to do that? If someone comes to me and they say, I want to learn to surf, it's a fair question for me to ask them, do you just want to stand up? If you just want to stand up on the surfboard, I can put you on the surfboard, standing up, push you into a wave, and you can ride into the beach, and you can take that off your bucket list. But if you really want to learn to surf, I am not going to be around the whole time you want to learn to surf. You have to learn this rhythm of the ocean. You have to learn how to control your board. You have to learn how to read the conditions so that you are safe and you're not going to get yourself into trouble in the ocean. It is an area where you can get hit in the head and be face down, and in three minutes you can die. Simple as that. So you have to know what you're doing when you go out in the ocean. And once you learn this, you feel how good it is to be in the water for a half hour or an hour or two hours if your endurance is there. And at the end of the two hours, they can tell you to do anything they want. I could go and work in an office building after I had an hour surf. Because they could do anything they want for me to, for the day. I've already done what I want to do. I know I'm going to feel good. That is the religion of surfing. Well, we have a nice shallow sandbank. So the water is shallow for a long way out. Just to the left of the sandbank is the rip going out. So you can ride in the rip, paddle over to the waves, ride the waves in. Finish the wave, paddle back into the rip. So it's a continual circle like life and this place represents that every day the easiest place to teach surfing the perfect day is when we laugh sometimes when i have the steiner kids they crack jokes and we laugh and we're rolling in the sand laughing in the classroom this is a perfect day these are the days i feel good when i leave yeah and that's genuine that's it's not about how much people you can get through and how much money you can make. It's how much fun you can have down here. If you can't have fun at work, forget it. The slogan is actually an old banner that was uh, salvaged from the rubbish bin. And it said, quit smoking because you can't. And I took it to the sign writer and I said, paint over the quit smoking, write learn to surf. Because you can. She's good, this girl's good. OT, OT, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> this is an easy beach. I have easy equipment. I have soft, safe equipment, wetsuits. And most people say 75% of the people stand up their first day. When they turn around and look at me, they have that total of ob obliteration of you know the like excitement you know like oh you see that you know and i remember the same thing when i first stood up on my wave when i was 12 years old the first wave i rode across the green wave i came into the beach and my uncle said look like someone handed you a hundred dollar bill that's a lot of money in those days yeah because the, the the feeling is still there so when i see them do it i still get the feeling
Denmark has a really beautiful forest and a beautiful clean ocean with not a whole lot of people around. You can go surfing by yourself still if you choose. On a given winter day, you're looking for a buddy to go surfing with, someone to share the experience with. It's quiet, it's easy, it's clean. Why would you not live someplace like that? It's like heaven on earth. Go Thomas! Woo!